Hey folks, Russell here of RWA Fishing. All right, we're trying to make the best of what little after work time we have down on the river again. And this time we got a little chop on the water, a little breeze, but uh, we don't have a favorable tide, but hey, we're gonna send some stuff out and see if we can get something to show up. Quite a bit of chop on the water. The breeze is fairly strong too. All right. Well, here we go. This wind pushing the water, you think the tide is moving. <laughs> But according to the charts, it's not. But you never can tell when someone might hang in this grass flat area and continue to feed. It's pushing some grass around though. Starlings are loud over there. <laughs> oh, I felt a bump, a good hard bump. <laughs> Something must have hit it. That was a good hard bump. Let's see if he comes back. Picking up a lot of grass at this angle. Oh, something just something just hit it. Didn't get it though. Couple of hits thus far, and must be little ones. Be getting some hits. I might put a crankbait on. I think I'm gonna do that. Go get the crankbait. All right, let's try this crankbait. I might have to go to a heavier one and get a little more crashing distance. We'll see. Cast pretty good with the wind. Bring it in kind of slow to try to keep it from digging into the grass. It's already picked up some because of wiggling action. Stop. Give it a couple of twitches. Hold the rod tip up a little bit higher, see if that helps. You can feel it bouncing over the top of the grass now. But a spin bait and a jig got a hit, but the crankbait doesn't seem to be attracting the attention. Let me make a few more casts. having a hard time keeping it out of the grass anyway. Well, I think that's a fish. Oh, I think we got some attention, folks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got one, well, folks.
All right, here we go. <laughs> it's a tricky rascal too. All right, boy, that's a chunky rascal. <laughs> I wonder if this was the rascal that hit this, that hit my swim bait or my jig. We got him, folks. We got him. Hey, y'all remember this crankbait? This is one of the ones out of the uh, Bass Finder box. Boy, it's a hefty rascal. Not very long, but... All right, we got that rascal. Nice, we get a quick eye in. I think I get a weight on him. He's like two and a half pounds. Sixteen incher. All right, got it all zeroed. Two pounds eleven ounces. <laughs> hey, just a bit over two and a half. Two pounds eleven ounces. All right, buddy. Thanks for showing up. Yeah, look at that nice. That's a that's a nice bass. <laughs> nice solid rascal. All right. All right, two and a half pounder. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Glad to see you. All right, we're gonna let you go. And there he goes. There he goes. He went. I really sent that crankbait crankbait back out again. Hopefully he wasn't the only one in this area. I think it is. Because the hard hit I got on the spinner bait and the quick tap I got on the jig, I think they were different fish. Holding that rod tip up as high as I can. <laughs> Try to keep it out of the grass. Oh, something came up and tapped it. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> it was about that big. <laughs> that might have been where it hit the jig, too. I think we got another one, folks. Yep. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see if we can land him. It feels like he might be bigger than the first one. He was in the grass for a bit. It might be about the same size. All right. Maybe a little smaller. <laughs> we'll see. All right, let's get those pliers ready. Let's get the grippers from off the uh, scale there. Boy, that's a chunky rascal. All right, nice, nice rascal. Good help you with the bass. scale on it. Two pounds, six ounces. All right, just a, just a tad bit smaller than the first one. But hey, 
over two pounds, no complaints there. I'll be happy to catch those rascals all day. <laughs> nice. All right. He's probably around that 16 inch range too. Buddy, thanks for showing up. Nice healthy rascals. He's got a little issue there, a little some kind of lesion there, but he'll be all right. Yeah, he's doing good. That beautiful rascal. Considering this wind, I'm getting better casting distance than I thought I would. It's one of the reasons I like this Tatula. Hey, two nice ones so far. Oh, nice. <laughs> awesome. All right. The park's closing at six o'clock today. Okay. So we've got a couple of minutes. All right. Just giving you the heads up. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. All right. Course. No complaints today. Nice <laughs> ones. <laughs> yeah, have a good evening. It's a really pretty day. It is. It is. I'm really surprised no one else is down here fishing. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a time check so I don't overstay my welcome. Ooh, it's almost six now. Five fifty-three. Well, we just got time for a few more casts. Since the crankbait's been working, we'll stay with it. Well, folks, there are two times when you don't want to leave. <laughs> when the fish aren't biting <laughs> and when the fish are biting. <laughs> and this evening, I had a bit of a bite going on. You know, at first I got a real hard hit on, a, on the spinner bait, but it didn't hook up. Then I got another lighter tap on the jig. Let's see, let me send all the crankbait through here. I had a problem getting it through the grass, so I was holding the rod way up high to try to keep it out of the grass, just ticking the top of it. And got two nice bass, both over two pounds. Two pounds, 11 ounces, two pounds, six ounces. Can't complain about that. <laughs> had less than an hour to fish. <laughs> hmm. But uh, hey, it turned out pretty good for the extremely short time that we have. You know, as nice as fall weather is, the public places, ah, oh, they close so early. <laughs> well, folks, for coming out here after work, managing to land two nice ones in a very short amount of time, a thumbs up will be greatly appreciated. But folks, thanks for watching our WA Fishing. And as always, God bless you.